Saturday, July 20th. Time to get you in the know. In a moment, we'll be joined by meteorologist Rhythm Reet. Let's take a look at a recap of some weather in recent days. We've had some rain in Nova Scotia. That's not going to be the case today. It might be tomorrow, but this is helping to highlight some of the wet conditions we've seen in eastern Canada. A much different story in the west. A lack of rain, intense heat, and that's really building the wildfire threat. Something we're going to get to in a moment, but as we're joined by Rhythm, uh, we have a lot to talk about in terms of that kind of disparity between different parts of the country. But Rhythm, let's talk about the heavy rainfall in the east first. When, we're, when we take a look back at the last 30 days, we've really seen that moisture build across southern Ontario into the Bay of Fundy as well, above normal precipitation. And it was due to a few things. One being some of that moisture move or those remnants moving up from bare the multiple rounds of torrential rainfall. And when we take a look back at earlier parts of just this week, all of those watersheds ended up filling up across regions of southern Ontario. So when this severe flooding hit the GTA, it was already due to so much rain we've gotten. And then that extra moisture that just seems to be lingering around regions of southern Ontario for this year. So a couple factors kind of came together to make that flooding situation earlier in the week in parts of Ontario uh, as severe as it was. And it looks like, yeah, well on track to be maybe the rainiest uh, summer ever recorded for some in southern Ontario. Yeah, and when we take a look back on the other end, Matt, it was completely different stories. We've had multiple days across July where we've seen our temperatures above 30 degrees. The average is usually two days for Edmonton. They're sitting at seven days for areas like Camp Loops, a Soyuz. 15 days for Kamloops and then so you 16 days and that heat is making a return once again. That ridge building in across regions of British Columbia into regions of Alberta. So that's going to cause with it more of those temperature spikes as we're going through this week and into the early parts of next week. Yeah, the last thing we wanted to see in this part of the country, right? Rhythm, more heat and more dry conditions. Then we're seeing the wildfire situation over the past few days is really seems to be incre increasing quite substantially. And it's really, really sad. When we take a look at some of these temperatures, especially for Sunday, that's when we'll see a lot of that heat peaking across British Columbia, that Kootenai region that has seen a lot more of that lightning strike causing some of those wildfires to begin. So when we take a look at areas like Hamloops, 41 is a forecast for our Sunday. We've already seen 187 wildfires out of control as of yesterday. The day before that, it was 133. And like I mentioned, Matt, it was the lightning across British Columbia that has played such a major role. We've seen that dryness on top of that, those isolated scattered thunderstorms causing those wildfires. When we take a look over into Alberta, slightly different case, higher amounts due to uh, human began uh, fires that have been causing these wildfires. But nonetheless, they are also suffering with the heat as well as we have 54 out of control wildfires across Alberta. Yeah, it's remarkable what you're highlighting rhythm just looking at the statistics of these wildfires day to day over the past few days it seems to be uh, quite an increase in wildfire activity yep and then it's going to be the smoke right a lot of people forget about that when we take a look at the low level smoke especially for saturday into sunday areas that are going to be highly affected is going to be across saskatchewan and across areas of alberta due to those wildfires really ramping up across the northern regions of the prairies but when we take a look at the total aerosol so even those upper level um pollution as well as wildfire smoke, it's spreading widespread across regions of the prairies into northwestern Ontario and even into southern Ontario. So everyone across Canada will be seeing those hazy skies this weekend.